Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. And it's time for our rematch against the Denarians, guys. We're going to give Death Masks another go. And this is definitely one of the more difficult decks that we've had to face. I've had people message me about the difficulty. And I played this a few more times after that first attempt. And I definitely have to agree with them. We have to be really lucky in terms of the cards that were drawn and how the playing field looks before we even have a fighting chance of beating this. Now, I said in a previous episode that I'm not a big fan of random number generator games normally, and that's true, but the key word there is normally. If the game has a really good gimmick or gimmicks, and all games have gimmicks, I actually can enjoy a random number generator game. And the more I've been playing this, the more I've realized that the odds are so stacked against you, very much like a Dresden file book, that everything that you're doing is just to increase your chances of potentially clearing that showdown at the end. And I actually really like that. It's like a random number generator Dark Souls. So ever since I've been kind of having that idea in my head, I've been enjoying this game a lot more. But in terms of death masks, I think I figured out two strategies that we can go about, depending on the cards that we get, of course, because that was one of the things that hurt us during that first attempt was the fact that Michael didn't really have a whole lot of useful cards because his ability to increase the range of his cards doesn't really help if he doesn't have any useful cards. But if we get a good... If we get good draws, we can do one of two things. The first is we go on a straight monster killing scenario, and that's focusing on all three Denarians as well as being able to kill Count Ortega in one shot, and then focusing on one case, which I believe should be um, because you get clues added to it once you kill Nicodemus, curing the plague. So kill all monsters, clear that case, you should be good. If you don't have the right cards for that, you can go with a more balanced approach, and that's taking out two of the villains. I would go ahead and put Nicodemus in that just because that makes one of the cases easier, and then trying to clear as many cases as possible or at least, at least getting as close as you can. So when the showdown happens, you hope for those good rolls. So we're going to give Michael a chance to redeem himself this go around. I mean, he's a Knight of the Cross. Redemption is kind of his thing. And we're going to stick with Sonya because I love that ability to get extra fate points. And yeah, let's go ahead and see if our luck is a little bit better this go around. Oh, we got some obstacles. Ooh, everything's right there. We have no attack cards with Harry. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Well, that happened. Michael? And you have one attack card. That is... Oh, so not what we need. And Sonya has one attack card. Well, I guess we're going full investigation then, guys. We don't have a choice in the matter. Do we have anything that could actually... Michael has Dragon Slayer, which we can use to get rid of Ortega. And we have to clear all of the cases. I think that is the only way that we could actually win. Wow. Okay. Well... Let's go ahead and go with Harry first. We'll grab the Judas noose. Oh, there's an attack card. Yay. Will of the Proletariat. Get rid of high society events. Michael. Ooh. We use Fist of God. And that'll do two more damage to Nicodemus and two to Deidre. Let's do that. How's that a bargain? Okay, Harry. Let's move... Let's get rid of the blue beetle here. And... Wow, this is just not ideal. We'll move... Actually, let's not deal with that just yet. Let's go with... Let's sack Saber Slash. And... We'll use... Do we have a one with that? Yeah, we do with Harry. All right, let's sack Faith Protects. Because that'll give him increased range on a hit. 
Now with Harry, hear me out here, guys. I have a I have a cunning plan. We're going to use Fuego on Nicodemus, and now he's in uh, blasting rod range. Now we're going to sack for the people for six. And here comes the fun part, guys. If we are lucky, meaning if we do not hit a negative, we can actually kill Count Ortega with Dragon Slayer. So come on. Big bucks, no whammies. Excellent. Oh, so there goes the Red Court Lord. <laughs> Shoo. Now with Harry, we are going to grab Shiro's Sacrifice. And that means he can grab something from his discard pile. And we are going to grab Fuego again for another big attack card. So maybe... Uh, we'll sack Empathy. For two. Family Man, definitely sack that. We don't have any more advantages. Time to use the Blasting Rod with Harry. We say goodbye to Nicodemus. That actually adds four clues to stop the plague. Yes. We can do... What do we have here? That's two foes. We just need to take out... do Finish out some cases is all. Either that or... Three hits... We have one foe. We can solve two cases. I'm so... I'm so conflicted on what to do here. We do have some really good cards. Oh, wait a minute. Did we use... No, we didn't. Huzzah! Alright. So, what we will do here... Is... We'll use Sonya's ability on Where's the Shroud, because that's the easiest one. That'll do three. Michael? For five, we can go ahead and clear Where's the Shroud just, like, completely from the queue. For four fate. This is doable. This is very, very doable. We just have to make sure not to mess up. We're going to sack consult with Bob. And did Michael actually do anything there? I don't remember. One, two, that's six. I'm going to keep on sacking Sonya's abilities because for fate. Because that's just so handy to have. Michael, did we use your ability? Oh no, we did not use your ability. We can go ahead and use it if we want to, but what would be the point? Let's do two fate for Sanctified Strike on Deidre. She's down to five. Ooh, she is very close to dying if we do well on Fuego. Please, no negative. There goes Deidre. Okay, guys, we gotta be cool, cool, calm, and collected here. Sonya. That gives us eight. And then Harry's cards are five and two. Okay, hold on. Three for two clues. Three for two, or three for three. Indeed. We'll go with Stop the Plague. Now with Harry, we will sack Private Investigator. For three? I don't, we're not even going to get to the showdown, guys. And I think I hear that train coming. 
It's going to be very loud. Now we're going to use Michael's ability so we don't have to spend any fate. And I really hope this isn't foreboding. Let's wait for the train crash. Okay, so if I hit double negatives here, it'll be for three, and it'll go to the showdown. If I don't roll ne double negatives, we've won. Oh. But that's still four. Oh, man. Victory. You've met the conditions for victory. We've never not gone to a showdown before. You can still continue your game to improve your score. Outstanding. Um, no, thank you. We, we're done now. Is this how we do it? We go showdown? You'll not be able to return to the game once the showdown has started. I'm ready. We don't need no showdown on the moving train. Overachiever and to the death. Holy crap, I did not think that we were going to be able to make it once we saw Harry starting cards, but we were able to do it, guys. Wow, that was uh, that was a chore. <laughs> but I guess against the Denarians, it should be pretty hard. I'd gone through quite a few attempts to try and figure out how to play this, and I think that is the best way to go about it. You can't, you can't really go in with a set strategy. You just have to go with the flow. Be like water, like Bruce Lee would say. But yeah, that is another book down, guys. And we will move on to the next book in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.